All right, guys, so welcome to this video. Here, I'm going to be showing you how you can flip $350 to 1.1k dollars in 19 days. Yes, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Yes, not 90, but 19 days. And I'm going to be showing you how you can do this selling your crazy offer in the online space through webinars. Yes, so this means if you are listening to me right now, and you don't have $350 in your account lying there doing nothing. Like you don't have plans of doing anything with it to get. And I think $350 should be around uh, 265K, if I'm not mistaken, from 265K to uh, let's say 300K, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So this means if you don't have from 265K to 300K in your bank account lying there without, like you're, you're not doing anything with it, then this video is not for you because. This video is more of uh, money multiplication, not money making. You get so these are for those that have the money already, and they are looking for how to flip the money, how to multiply the money to yield uh, better returns. You get this video, this free video are for those persons. So if you are here right now and you don't have three fifty dollars in your account, or you don't know how to raise three hundred fifty dollars in two days, three days, let's say max one week, then just keep the video. Get go and catch up with other YouTube content creators, maybe other YouTube, other entrepreneurs, online entrepreneurs, content creators that show you how to make money fast in your online space. So this particular video is for those that want to flip their uh, money from here to here. Get so if you are that person, then welcome to this video. Welcome to this video. So without wasting much of your time, let's head in straight to what we have for you today. Now, this free video are for those or is for those persons who either sell a product online, a service, or uh, an offer in the online space. So if you are watching me right now and you have a product you are promoting or you want to promote, you have an offer uh, you're promoting or want to promote, or you are selling a service online, then this video is for you. Note, you must have either of these three things or you must be planning to do either of these three things, although I, I prefer if you're already doing it already. You're already doing it, but you should be doing either of these three things that are listed on your screen. Plus, you must have $350. That is the major requirement for you watching this free video. You get so with that being said, let's move on to what we have or what I have for you today. Now, just so you know, this is not crypto trading, this is not forex trading, this is not stocks. Is it not those stuff that you think I am talking about? You get so I know when you head flip, the first thing that came to your head was webinar, was I'm sorry, was crypto, was forex, and etc. Yes, those those uh, the word flip is used to forex and crypto. You get, but then this particular video is not related to forex or with forex, not related to crypto or with crypto, is majorly webinars, majorly webinars. Yes, so. With that being said, let me show you how you can make, how you can flip your $350 to 1.1K dollars using webinars. Now, before I show you what to do, I'll advise you that you have your notes and your pen somewhere close to you or your notepad. Because what I'm about to share with you in this video is a step-by-step -step guide. Like, I'm going to tell you what to do on day one, day two, day three, up until day 19. You get so I'll be needing you to write down, and after writing down, I'll be needing you to implement everything that you are going to hear in this free video. On this free video, you get so if you have that ready, I advise you if you are you don't have that ready, pause this video right now. Pause it, it's not going anywhere. You've seen the video now, you can even copy the link. Just pause the video first, go and look for buy room, go and look for. And look for the most part because you are not going to get anything from this video if you don't have something uh, or somewhere you're jotting down whatsoever I'm saying. You get so if you have not gotten something that you are going to use to jot this, your stuff down, pause this video now, exit, go and get your book, go and get your bio, come back to YouTube, open this video, and let's get started. So let's go. What should you do on day one? On how can you do this in 19 days? Now, this is what you should do on day one. Now, day one, 
is when you do your market research to know which kind of offer sells best in your market and how you can sell it. Now, the problem most persons have in your online space is not really of the offer they are selling, but how they are selling the offer. Now, I can, you can give me this bottle of water and give someone else this bottle of water that I'm holding right now. Get, you can give me and someone else this bottle of water and give us the same audience. You get, give us the same product, which is the bottle of water. Give us the same audience. And I might know or I will know how to sell this bottle of water to that person. And then the second guy might not know how to sell this same bottle of water to that, to that person. Now, it does not necessarily mean that this bottle of water is not valuable. But it simply means that although the bottle of water is valuable, you don't know how to sell it. You get. Now, this is what you research on day one. This is what you should do on day one. Now, first of all, what kind of offer sells best in my market? What kind of offer is valuable? What kind? What, what is that thing that people need the most in my niche? What is that thing that people need the most in the market? So if you are into into content, uh, content creation, all of us are into content creation, let's say you are into copywriting, what is that one thing that people need or want to learn in copywriting? What is that one thing that people can die for to have or to learn in copywriting? What is that one thing? Look for that one thing that people can steal to buy. <laughs> yes, look for that one thing that people can go to any length, length like even stealing to get that particular solution from you in that market. Now, this is the kind of offer you should look for. And then after you've discovered that offer, look for how to sell it. Now, if your question is, I know you might be asking me now, okay, you've talked about the product and then someone else in my, who might not know how to sell the product because the person does not understand uh, how to sell it. Now, if you've gotten the offer, now, let me give you an example of how to sell it. Now, if you've gotten the offer, you should sell from the pain point of that particular audience. You get I'm going to we are going to go deep into uh this whole stuff. Yeah, it's just step by step. But then when you've gotten the offer, you are going to go step like you're going to go deep down into the kind your audience, you get the problem they are facing. Of course, is from the problem they are facing, you are going to scrap out your offer from you get now. It is from that point you should sell that offer or that solution you sell it. So why do that particular man, that guy, that lady, that girl? Why do they want this bottle of water? If I can discover why they want this bottle of water, then how to sell it will not be a problem. So the why or the how rather comes from the why. You get so look for an offer that sells and how you can sell it. So it's very simple. Discover the pain points to both get the offer you want to sell and how you can sell the offer. Now, when you are doing this, make sure you are writing and make sure you spend time here. Because you would not want to sell what people don't value. You would not want to sell what people don't like. You get. You want to sell what is valued, what is needed, what is wanted in your market. So, are you a video guy? Are you a uh, copywriter? Are you a graphic designer? Are you an affiliate marketer? Whatever you're doing in the online space, are you a course creator? Are you a product owner? Yes, under that market, under that your market, what is that one thing that people are willing to steal to get? under that niche what is that one thing that people can still to get what is that one solution that people can still to have under your niche under your market discover that one thing obviously is going to link to a problem that they are having discover that one thing and then once you've discovered discovered it from their problem you're going to also know how to sell it again make sure you are writing these things your research down make sure you're writing your research down spend time here Spend time here. Now let's move. Let's move. Now, the day one is mostly research. Yeah. Do your market research. Do uh what you should sell, how you should sell. Write everything down. Make sure you're writing it down. Now, after you've done that in day one, go and sleep. Now let's move to day two. The second day, after doing your research, now this is where you now craft out your own offer. And I advise you craft out a $30 offer. I advise you craft out your own offer of $30. So Day one, what you are doing is you are not crafting out an offer. You are researching what can sell, or yes, what will sell in the market. You're researching problems. 
there is certain uh, solutions, uh, problems that you can find solutions or you can give solutions to. You are researching problems that you can create solutions for. That what you are doing on the day one. You are, you are researching problems that you can create solutions for in your market and how you can sell these solutions. That's what you are doing on the day one. On the day two, you are now crafting out your own offer. You are crafting out your own offer on the day two, this, which is the second day. Now, this is how you should craft out your offer. Listen to me attentively, please. Write the offer from the most important to the least important and make sure it is in odd numbers. I'll explain. So let's say you've done your research and let's say uh, you want to do how to, let's say how to design from uh, beginner to pro, something around that angle. And then, you know, you have to list down your offer, what they would learn or what they will get in the offer. Number one, number two, you get this, you get this, you get this, you get this, that stack, that offer stack. Now, whatever you're writing on your offer stack, make sure it does not exceed, uh, make sure it's not less than three and make sure it's not more than five. So as far as you want to sell it on your webinar, you get, or on the on using webinars, make sure it's not less than three, make sure it's not more than five because you don't want to over, stress people in your webinars you get now if you understand or if you listen to me well you discover that the numbers i call were three and five and they are odd numbers now this is what i mean by you making sure that your offer are in odd numbers so make sure that your offer is uh maybe three five three or five you get three or five three or five this is how your offer should be then after you've written down make sure you you write down the offer from the most important part of that offer to the least important part of that offer. You, you know, there's always that bonus part of offer. Yeah? You see that all the, uh, just write from most important to least important the offer you get. Most times what we used to do is when we are creating offers, we write the most important as the main offer. They will now write plenty bonus as the least important you get. So the most times the main offer is the most important and the least, uh, the least uh, offer, the, that's the least important offer is a uh, bonuses. Yeah. So that's how most uh, most of you do it. But then I'll show you the different way on how you can do it. Yeah. So once you've written down your offer from most important to less important, and you've made sure that they are in odd numbers, then the next thing you need to do, let's say uh, seven. Let's say there are seven. Let's say there are seven. Get yeah. now. Uh, I remember I, I said something like make sure your offer are not is not more than is not less than three and is not more than five. Now the reason I said that is make sure your main offer is not less than three or no more than five. But then if there are more, you can put the more as bonus. You get the more can be under bonus, but I'm saying your main offer, your main offer, there's even between main offer and bonus. Your main offer should not be less than three or more than five. Then if you are writing any other thing, you should put it under the bonus. You get. But now listen to me. Let's say everything is seven. Let's say everything is seven. Four most important and three less important, as the case might be. You've listed out both the main offer and the bonus. You get. Let's just put together put the main offer and the bonus. You've listed out four most important and three less important. Now this is what you should do. Make two of this of those offers you've written down. Two out of uh, the uh, offer that is two from most important and two from less important. Make it the main offer. I hope you are listening to me. Remember, I said your main offer should not be less than three and should not be more than five. Your main offer. Then, if you want to add bonus, you can add as many bonuses as you want to add, but it should also be an odd number three, five. Three, five. Your, your bonus should be three or five. Your offer should be three. Or three to five, rather, your bonus can be three to five, your offer can be three to five, but I advise you leave it in odd number. So let's say you've written out seven, both bonus and offer. Now, pick out two most important of your offers and two less important of that offer you've written down. Make it the main offer and then make the remaining the bonus. Now, let me explain better. You know when you're writing your offers, uh, most times, maybe as you let's say you are writing down seven now, as I as I use now as an instance here, or maybe you are writing nine. If you discover inside that now you are writing, the most important ones will be maybe five, and then or four, or let's say seven, or let's say six, and then the other ones 
might not be really important, but it is important to get that's why I use the word less important. It doesn't mean it is not important. But then it is not important as the major ones you get. And this is what most of us do, like I said earlier on. You write down the major part of the offer, and uh, that's the, the needed part of the offer. You write it down as the main offer, and then the less needed part, you now put it as the bonus. No, no, we are going against the normal stuff here, and I will show you why. Make if you've written down seven, you get, and let's say there are four important, uh, four most important in the offer, and three less important. Now, pick out two from the most important offer in your offer, the most important part in your offer. Pick out two from the most important and pick out two from the less important. Make it your main offer. Then the remaining two most important and the remaining one less important, make it the bonus. You get. So after you've written down the offer, draw a line like this and like this, a cross. You get like cross of Jesus sign. Draw it on one side, right, most important. On the other side, write less important. You get now when you've written it, write the most important of your web after you've written on your offer. Write the most important and write the less important. You get now make sure that if your most important is six, no, most sorry, if your most important is five and then your bonus is is uh let's say four, which is nine. Remember, I said you should be odd number. Let's say your most important is five and your bonus is four. Pick out two from your most important and three from your less important to make up the main offer. And the remaining three from your most important and two from your less important should be the bonus. Now, I, I, I think you, you I, I think you're getting my point right now. Now, this is how you should present the offer on your live webinar. Now, let me tell you why it is very important. When you do this, most times, if you are not confident enough, you will be afraid because you yourself, you know that if you are, if you were the person that wanted to buy the offer and you, you see the main offer, you might just log out of the webinar or log out of the webinar. But this is what you are playing a, tri a trick in your audience mind, and this is what you are doing. When you make your offer, pick one from two most important, pick one from two less important. Yeah. Now, this is what you are getting them. You are putting them in the mood of contemplation. Should I buy this offer? Should I not buy this offer? Because in this uh, in this offer, according to what this guy has shared in the webinar, in this offer, and I think it's just only this number one and two that I need. Now, this other one, I don't really need it. According to uh, what this guy has told us about this particular niche, this particular market. So more, I'm not sure I would want to get this offer. Up. Then that is the stage you're putting there when you show them your main offer. But immediately you introduce your bonus and they see the remaining important parts of the offer in the bonus they are like whoa do you mean that this particular thing in the bonus i'm getting it for free when i buy this offer this is crazy and before they start buying i've used this for myself i've used this for my clients and whoa, 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 whoa the result was crazy i remember using for one of uh, my clients who's a super affiliate joy agreement and she made over three million plus in less than 30 days this same method i'm showing you now yes so you would want to leverage on this particular method I'm showing you now to sell your offer on the live webinar. Now, after you've done this, you move on to day three to seven. Now, we are going to be using three, four, five, six, seven, five days to write a good webinar script that will sell this offer. Now, you've created it. You've written down how offer should be presented. You get Now, the, the next important part of everything is how can I sell the offer on the on, on, um, on webinar? Of course, you might not uh, know how to do it. You have not done a webinar before, or maybe you have done a webinar before that it did not sell well. Maybe you know how to do a webinar. You should know that, or you should understand that you will need a webinar script to sell the offer. Now, if you don't know how to write a webinar script, or if you know how to write a webinar script, congratulations to you. This is where you should use these five days, maximize it to write your webinar scripts that will sell the offer and then we'll move on to what to do on day eight. But if you don't know how to sell or how to write the webinar script, I have uh, a solution for you. I have two options that you can go with to make sure that you write a good webinar script. Now, option one, go to Twitter. Maybe as you're watching this video right now, go to Twitter, search at 
Mark King underscore Carlo. What you're seeing on your screen now. F all on uh small letters, yeah. At Mark King underscore Carlo. Go through my threads on Twitter. Read every single thing one after the other. And I am assuring you, you are going to get 75% clarity on how to write your webinars. Yes, how to write your webinar script. I'm assuring you. With what is on my Twitter handle, it can show anybody, it can show anybody how to write a good webinar script from start to finish. With what is on my Twitter handle, it's like it can show, teach anybody anybody how to write a good webinar script from start to finish so go to twitter follow me at underscore at underscore marking at marking rather underscore palu read my thread most importantly my threads and you're going to get at least 75 percent clarity on how to write your webinars now let's move to option b option b is this look for an expert who can help you write a standard webinar script now, I can do it for you, or I can write that for you. I can write your, your, your webinar script for you. If only you can afford me. <laughs> I can do it for you. I don't have a problem writing a webinar script for you. So far as you have a product you're selling, you have uh, an offer you're selling, you have a service you're rendering in your online space, I can help you write a standard webinar script. If only you can afford me. Now, this is the difference between option A and option B. Option A will take you more than five days to write. Maybe 10 days, maybe 14 days, because bro, like <laughs> you need time to master this thing. It might, it, might, it might even be more than 14 days. I'm just saying 14, 10 to 14 days if you are very smart. If you're not smart, to be sincere with you, it might take you an average of 20, 30 days for you to now write a good webinar script that can sell your offer. But if I'm to advise you, I would say you go with option B because option B is better and faster. Option B. A, uh, an expert is doing it for you, like you're saving. You see, the other that five days, you are just using it to chill, or you're using it to, you know, patch up your offer, see the best things you can do for it or with it. And even the webinar, um, the webinar expert would even help you to sweeten your offer as well, because that whoever you are using, either me or whoever you're going to pay to help you write your webinar scripts, that particular guy should understand how to write or how to make offers crazy enough that nobody would want to avoid or nobody would want to do without buying you get now that particular webinar especially know how to do that and once you are done with the webinar script you're going to move to day eight what should you do on day eight now day eight is for you to record a video ad record a video ad that will promote the free webinar Record, put like, take up your phone, put it on a stand. There should be a ring light. You should be dope. You should have your hair cut. Don't mind me. <laughs> you should have your hair cut. Look sweet. Look look like sweet girl, sweet boy, bad week. And like, play guy. <laughs> look tush in your um, video ad. Now, in, your, in that video ad, you should state who your target audience are. More like, okay, if you are doing this, uh, if you are a uh, Facebook uh, ad expert, if you are this, if you are that, then I want to show you how you can do blah, 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 this, 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 da, 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 boom. Now, in that video, this is what you should state. You should state, make sure that you state your target audience in the video and make sure you state your big promise. Make sure you state the kind of people you want amongst your audience. Let me, let me explain this. Uh, this simply means even if you want to help Facebook ad experts to do let's say 1 million in one hour, <laughs> which kind of persons under this Facebook ad expert do you want to help? This is what I did when I started this free video. In as much as I wanted to help people who have a product, who have an offer, who has a service in the online space, I did not just help all of them. I said, if you don't have $350 in your bank account that is lying there doing nothing, then skip the video. Yeah. So what you should do here in number three, the kind of people you want is more like filtering your audience. So more like, okay, even if you are a uh, Facebook guy, even if you are this, even if you are that, if you don't have 100 to 300K line in your account, uh, empty, if you don't have this, if you don't do this, if you don't do that, then don't join. That is what you are doing there. Then you also state the day of the webinar you get. Uh, it's going to be on so, 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 so day. This is what uh, your big promise, your target audience and the kind of people you want. That is what you should do on day eight, record the video. 
Now, day nine, do for a good Facebook ad guy that can help you generate at least 500 to 700 quality leads that you can sell the offer to using the video ad you've created. So that is the major goal of the video ad, to get people, to get leads that can buy your offer. People like quality leads. Look for a Facebook ad guy, a good one that can generate you at least 500 to 700 quality leads that you can sell the offer to using the video ad you've created. Now, this ad should run for seven days. Now, after, or once this ad is running, or even before the ad starts running, what you should now do is to, for you to set up a seven days email sequence. Of course, you are going to be using email uh, lists to sell this particular webinar. So you should set up a seven days email sequence using my webinar conversion sequence. I already have that for you, don't worry. I like you enough to reduce the stress for you. <laughs> ah, okay, so my webinar conversion sequence is worth um, $100. Yes, it's worth $100. But then you can get it for free from now to 25th of July. From now to 25th of July. Uh, well, let me just, let me make it 30th. I was planning to record this video, I think on the first week of July, but I didn't, that's why I put 25th. You get, so let me extend the date to 30th. The last, I think it should be last day of July. I don't know. July 30 or 31 days. I don't know. So the webinar conversion sequence is going to be free from now to the last day of July, 30 or 31st. I don't know. The last day of July. It is worth hundred dollars. I sell it for hundred dollars. So I'm going to be giving out for free from now to the last day of July. So for you to get this, what you should do now is for you to go to Twitter now and follow me on Twitter. My handle is at marking underscore Kalu. Retweet my pinned tweet. This thing, go to Twitter, retweet my pinned tweet, and then message me with webinar script to get the offer. Now, once you message me, I'm going to check if you retweeted my pinned tweet, and then I'm going to give you the webinar script automatically. You are going to get the link to the webinar script. You get now. Make sure you follow me on Twitter and you retweet my pinned tweet. These are just the two criteria for you to follow to get the webinar script that you should use to set up your seven days email sequence. Okay. Now, from the day one to day 17, this is what you're going to be doing. While the ad is running for the seven days, the email sequence is working. So the email sequence is for seven days. The uh, ad is for seven days. So every single day, they are, they are sorry, let me to fix this. My light is off. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, so now why the ad is running for seven days, the email sequence is also working. Yeah, so the email sequence is for seven days, the ad is for seven days. Make sure you add all of them to your private private WhatsApp group. Very important. So even if you are doing your email list, you should also spread your you should have this. That's what I believe. I like spreading my leads. I like spreading my leads. So yes, I have them on email, I also have them on WhatsApp. If you want to do email alone, that is good for you. But I also advise you add all of them to your WhatsApp group where you can replicate the same email sequence too. Because most persons like opening their WhatsApp faster than their emails. As I said, this. Okay? So add them to a private WhatsApp group. Replicate the uh, email sequence. That is the webinar conversion sequence that I gave that you, that you are going to get once you follow me into it. My pin to it. But the work of that sequence is to nurture and prime them for the webinar. That's the work of that sequence. You are just going to be editing things like your name, your niche. That's what you are going to be editing in that sequence. That is the work. The work of that sequence is to nurture them and get them hungry to go or to see you live on your webinar and get them hungry enough to buy your offer. That's the work of that sequence. Now, run the webinar on the day 17. Run the webinar on the day 17. The goal is to get at least 400 persons live from the 700 leads that you are going to generate and close just 38 in 24 hours or less. So here's the goal. I want from the 700 persons that have gotten to my email list and my and the WhatsApp group, I just want 400 persons out of the 700 to come live. The other 300 should go and die. Literally, like, uh -huh. Then inside that 400, just 38 people buying is your goal. 
Once you get 38 sales in, 40, in less than 24 hours or less, if you do $30, remember I said create an offer for $30. If you do $30 and you make 38 sales in 24 hours or less on the day 17, that is $1,140. With this, you have even surpassed your target. <laughs> Now, don't forget what I told you to do when you're crafting out your offer. I don't know why I feel like going back to that. But when you're bringing out your offer, because offer is one thing that will, that will, that will tell you if that uh, your, your offer will sell. Like the way you craft it out will tell you if it will sell. Okay. So make sure you are bringing out the offer from what people want or what they need, and which is uh, your problem. That your offer should be solving is, is problem. Your offer should be creating a solution or an already existing problem. Already existing problem, not a problem to come. Already existing problem. Yes, that is what your offer should be solving. Now, I was in the 18, no, I was in the uh, 17. Run the webinar on the 17. Now, with this alone, you've hit your target. You get the first $350 I told you to have. You get that first $350, that criteria, that the one you are flipping. Part of it is for you to pay off the Facebook ad guy that is going to help you generate this lead. Yes, that Facebook ad, ad is going to help you generate uh, 700 leads at least in seven days. You are going to pay him from this $350. You get uh, also set to some other stuff. You get now on the day 18 and the 19, here is where you do your webinar replay and massive follow up. Webinar replay. I remember then when I did my first webinar. When I did my first webinar, I think I got. In 24 hours, I got around 20 sales thereabouts. 20, 30 sales thereabouts. 20, I got 30, just 30 sales thereabouts. Out of uh, the 60 something person's life, my, 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 I generated around, the leads I generated were not that much yet. They were not that much. But then I made around 30 sales from the webinar. When I did webinar replay and massive follow up, I got over 70 sales, over 70 sales. Like I made times two plus 10 of what I did in uh, the major webinar. You get Now, in follow-up, there's always massive money in follow-up. So make sure after the webinar, you do the webinar replay and the massive follow-up. You get to see how you can get an extra 35 to 40 sales. But if you can do this, this will give you an extra amount of 1K dollars to $1,200. And there you go. <laughs> now you've not just flipped your $350 to 1.1 K dollars, but you've also added 1 K dollars to 1.2 K dollars in 90 days, selling just a $30 offer. A $30 offer. Like just a $30 offer. Now, you should understand that if you want to, uh, if you want to, make sure that you sell in the webinar because the major work, let me tell you, in the webinars, there are, uh, let's say two or three most important things in webinars. The webinar script and the host of the webinar, which is you. The webinar script, the script, and the host of the webinar. Then the third part of the most important part of webinars are the leads that you're bringing into webinars. Now, for the webinar script, it should be converting, like you should have this power to convert people, you have the power to make people to buy. That's what your webinar script must possess. Now, as the host of the webinar, you must possess communication skills. You must possess storytelling skills. You must possess closing skills. But the, the best to possess, not if, even if you don't know how to close, because your webinar script, you, you, go, you, you just uh, practically read what is on the webinar script. But you should learn or you should have good communication skills and you should have good storytelling skills. If you have these two in your webinars and your webinar script is perfect and you have leads that can buy from you, I am telling you that there is no how you are not going to get 30, 40 sales from the first day of your webinar. It is not possible. It is not possible. Now, the way you can get leads that can buy from you is doing what I asked you to do then from the audience you have. Separate the weed from the. I'll be separate the weed from the plant. <laughs> you get so you should put something that would you know 
like i said in the beginning of this video if you're not if you're not if you don't have 350 dollars don't join again you should put something that can make people that have money from your audience to be in the uh to click the link to join your email list so you can do something like if you're watching this video in 95 you know, uh, this particular blah, 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 this solution is for you. But then if you don't have, if you're not making an average of 100K consistently for six months, then I advise you to keep this particular um, ad because this solution that I'm about to give to these persons are not, is not for you. You get, you can do something like that. You get. Now, if you want me to help you write a webinar script from start to finish, so you can start earning an average of $750 weekly. Then what I want you to do right now is to click the link in the comment section. Go to the comment section of this particular YouTube video. Click the link in the comment section to connect with me on Twitter and send me a DM on Twitter. Just come to my Twitter DM, tell me that you want me to help you write a webinar script from start to finish. And then we'll see how we can work together. We'll see how I can help you to do an average of $750 weekly, every week, every week doing webinars. Yes, you see how you can do that webinars. Although I have something at the end of this video for you. you get, at the end of this video, I have something for you. So I advise you that you stay put. I have something for you at the end of this video. I have something for you at the end of this video. I advise that you stay put. Now, just in case you know, if I want to help you write your webinar script, I charge an average of $500, $750 to help you write your webinar script. But then, I just want to help three persons watching this video right now to write their webinar script for just $350. $350. So if you have $350 with you right now, and you want to see how you can start flipping your $350 to an average of $1.1K doing webinars every week, then come to my Twitter DM, message me on Twitter, and let's see if we can work together. Now, if we can work together, then we'll see how we can work together by me writing your webinar script and showing you some communication hacks, some communication skills, some storytelling tips that you can use on your webinars for your persons to buy. But note, this is just for three persons. Get. Once I get three, the third person, I am going to be increasing the fee. Now, if you think that this is maybe a form of fear of missing out, no problem, you can you can try your luck. Once it's the third person who no, 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 no like money, I like money. So once it's the third person, I increase my price. Get, I increase my price, I like money. I don't want to charge less. Don't charge less, I like money. If you think this is uh, a sales strategy, maybe if you're missing out, no problem. That's, 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 that's okay, that's fine. Or you can also get a one-on-one -on -one training. I only take two persons per month. I'm going to train you on how you can write a standard webinar script for your offer. Yes, I'll train you on how you can write a standard webinar script for your offer. Although I will prepare this for you because when you do this, you are going to be equipped with the knowledge and you're going to be able to write a webinar script for any offer, for any product and for any service. And with this, you can even charge other persons just as I'm doing right now to write their webinar script for them. So you can be earning both ways doing your webinar and charging other persons to write the webinar as a side secret also. Nobody has to know. Just like those writing, nobody has to know. <laughs> you get. And for me to do this for you, you're going to pay seven hundred and fifty dollars, and seven hundred and fifty dollars for just two persons. And after the second person comes to my DM, I'm going to raise it to one k dollars. That is my normal charge. Yes, I'm going to raise it to one thousand dollars per month. You get. So I'm going to be training two persons every month. Seven fifty dollars. Show you how you can write a standard webinar script. For your product or service, etc. Now, here's what I have for you. If you cannot afford any of these things I just mentioned, like you can't afford $350 for you to pay me to write a webinar script, or you can't afford $750 for me to show you on how to write a webinar script, and I have something for you. I advise you to follow this YouTube channel because I'm going to be giving out free tips, a few tips on how you can write a webinar script yourself. Yeah, so you are not losing on any end. <laughs> I'm going to be giving you free tips on how you can write your webinar script by yourself. So subscribe to this particular YouTube channel, turn on the notification so that you get notified whenever I post a video that is going to show you 
how you can write your webinar script from beginning to end. Again, I'm going to be posting videos on webinars and how you can make money from it. Now, also follow me on Twitter and read my threads about webinars. I like, I said it earlier on, I'm beating my chest. If you watch my, if you read my threads, my Twitter threads, there is no how you will not be able to write webinars. It is not possible. If if you if you read my threads and you don't know how to write a webinar script, I'll write I'll write I will come to the online space and write a public apology for you. Yes, I'm going to do that. Because there's no there's no how you read my thread and not know how to write. No, no, it's not possible. I don't know how to write a webinar. It's not possible. Not possible. Not possible. So take with that, we've come to the end of this video. Sesfini. <laughs> Think with that, we've come to the end of this video where you just learn how you can flip $350 to $1.1k in 19 days. Yeah, you just learn how to flip $350 to $1.1k in 19 days. Now, like I said, I'm going to be sharing premium tips on how you can write your webinar script in case you don't have the money to afford me my one on one training or my, my services. In case you can't afford my service you can afford my one-on-one -on -one training then just subscribe to this particular youtube channel and also follow me on twitter at mark king underscore kalu at m-a-c-k-i-n-g underscore k-a-l-u yeah follow me on twitter read my threads subscribe to my youtube channel watch all my videos i'm going to be posting from this particular video up until the Future ones I'm going to post. It. And to help you, I might just put them in a playlist so that when you just come, you're just going to click webinar playlist and then you're just going to watch all the videos that I have for you on about webinar. So, with that, I think we've come to the end of this video. So, if you learned something in this video, I want you to go to the comment section right now and type what you learned. Type how you feel. Type how you feel. How would you feel? How would you feel having 1.1k dollars in your account? Like, you know, Jesus turned water to wine. Imagine you're turning 350 deep K to 1.1 K dollars. <laughs> How would you feel? I want you to go to the comment section and write it down. I'm so stressed out. I need to write something. So, goodbye, good night, good morning, good afternoon. Whenever you're watching this video, I want you right now to go and implement whatsoever you learned in this free video. So, up until we see you in the next video, Sestuni. See you on the next one.